What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Travis and I produce daily content for homeowners and new and upcoming heating and air technicians teaching you everything you need to know about heating and air. And on today's service call we have a customer who says when it gets really cold their heat pump just won't heat. They don't know what's going on with it and what I found is the heat strips aren't running when there's a call for auxiliary heat. So if you want to see how I figured out and how I fix it Stay tuned and I'll show you how it's done. Okay guys, this is the unit that we're looking at. I went ahead and took my um, my Freon readings and our Freon is good. And I went to go check our heat strips operation to see if that worked. And when I was finding my heat strips were not coming on when there's a call for Y, what I did is I went ahead and jumpered between Y and red to bypass the thermostat just to go ahead and make it done a little bit quicker. I've got my amp draw on uh, AC amps. We'll check on our main one here. And we're getting nothing. These are our heat strips here inside of our heat strip compartment. You can check each one individually. What I checked it is right here at our main power. And as you can see, we're not getting anything. So what we're going to do now is I've got two disconnects over here for my air conditioner and one for the heat strips. So what I'm going to do is, first, I, I know there's no fuses in there, so what I'm going to do is go ahead into the breaker and see if the breaker's stripped. Alright, we'll find it here. The heat strip is 26 and 24, and what we see our breaker is turned off. Alright, what I found was the breaker was actually not turned off. The breaker was stripped. And so what I did is I came out to our outside disconnects and I pulled the disconnect for our heat strips and what's happening is when I turn the breaker on for my heat strip that somewhere because we don't have any power here that somewhere between the breaker box and this disconnect they've got a, a, a short to ground so what's happening is when it calls for the heat strips it's actually tripping the breaker you pull your disconnect here you try to trip your breaker and it keeps tripping off so somewhere in between this disconnect and the breaker panel they've got a direct short to ground so what do we do with this on the heating and air side of it we do not go beyond the breaker so what we have to do with this customer is we have to recommend her have an electrician come out here and check this i know it's not anything with the heating and air equipment because when i pull the breaker it shuts off all the power to the the heat pump package unit so basically the only thing the electrician have to do is deal between the breaker and the disconnect itself so that's that's how we take care of this uh there's nothing we can do our license only go to um, the disconnect to the unit itself so we can't go anywhere back behind that so once this is done um, everything should hopefully be good with the heat strips but what I tell her if she's still going to have a problem to definitely give us a call back this is a very very interesting situation we did see that the heat pump was working was trying to heat the house and our whole thing was when it got really cold outside it just would not heat properly in which you know your heat strips are to help back up your heat pump and with this heat pump the heat strips not working on it that's our whole problem and unfortunately it wasn't anything i can take care of it's something in between the electrical between the disconnect and the breaker box so guys i hope you learned something on this service call all of them are different some things we can fix some things we can't but i appreciate you watching please hit that like and subscribe if you did learn anything and as always i will see you on the next service call thanks for watching